What is going on you guys? Today, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Kinetic Reactor. What is going on you guys? I hope everyone is being safe and doing well. I know this pandemic is a crazy situation. I really don't know what to expect out of it. But I will say that being quarantined in the house has taught me a lot of things. It's tested a lot of my limits. Uh, but I do want to say that it has taught me that I was not drinking enough water. But most importantly, I wasn't drinking the cleanest water that I could possibly have. I did a product review a couple years ago on the Brita filtered water bottle. I really enjoyed it for what I needed at the time in that it would give me portable filtered water wherever I went. However, being quarantined in the house, I was watching a lot of YouTube and I came across one of my favorite YouTubers, Alpha M, talk about this little thing called the kinetic reactor and I was super curious about it. He talked about how he used it in his offices to filter water uh, at home and I really was curious to see if it worked and I decided to reach out to the folks at Kinetic Reactor to see if I could try one of these out and see if it really worked and they were nice enough to give me one of these samples and what I'm going to do today is test it out, show you how it works and see what I think, see how the water tastes. So let's get to it. So when you open up the package you'll see your Kinetic Reactor and also they were nice enough to send me a stainless steel water bottle uh, that it's 100% chemically inert, so it's really clean. It's a, it's a, it holds cold water in for a long time. You'll also get some information about what it can do. So the kinetic reactor, it's a professional water treatment technology that can be used for your home. And it lists out some of the basic features that can prevent lime scale formation, reduce chemical contamination, and it can also help you save water. So this was really cool to know. And it also gives you some information on the back about what it can do and what the, what, and gives you a little summary about the product itself. So be sure to take a look at that when you get it. And this itself is the thing that we'll be working with. It's this little tiny device that I'm super fascinated to, to get to know. And uh, I'll be trying this out on my own faucet. So without further ado, let's start opening it. So this is the Kinetic Reactor. It's a patented water treatment technology. It basically uses an aerated filter mesh that uses the power of a vacuum in the combination of a special patented nozzle and a treating chamber system. So the way it removes impurities is through a process of oxidation. So basically when air is forced into a reduced pressure chamber, the bacteria is destroyed by an extreme low pressure, which literally tears the impurities apart. So Inorganic impurities that enter the water are oxidized and then gassed out of the water when the faucet is turned on. So back at university and a lot of my other friends in their apartments, they use something like a Brita filter like this to take tap water and then filter it uh, as, they, as they go about their day. But the only problem was that you have to refill this quite frequently. It would take like just throughout the night, just for one night, you'd see the pitcher almost always empty and someone would always have to refill it before they went to sleep. The filter has to be changed almost after every three months or so, but it gets repetitive and it gets annoying, especially since you have to go through that process just to grab a glass of water. The Brita filter water bottle was pretty portable and you could take it wherever you go. However, it's unlikely that you're gonna have a water bottle with you all the time when you're just in the house and you just wanna grab a glass and have a glass of water. The kinetic reactor, on the other hand, gets saturated after one year of usage, so it lasts up to six times longer before a replacement is needed. Carbon filters may not be practical since they take space and require regular maintenance. Traditional home filtering systems may be effective, but they can be quite expensive and demanding to install and maintain. Plus, the water may resemble distilled water and the taste may not be very appealing but this thing is less than $50 and you can just install it like a plug and play system. I'm really excited to test out this product to see how it makes my water taste. So right now we're gonna go ahead and install the kinetic reactor on my tap. So installing it is a fairly simple process. All you have to do is unscrew your, the current nozzle on your faucet, like so. Check out all that gunk, oh my goodness. 
So from the outside, it doesn't seem too much different like the kinetic reactor in terms of uh, its looks. But what we're gonna do right now is install the kinetic reactor into this faucet. And this is the tricky part because it might be, it might be worth noting whether or not your faucet has an internal thread or an external thread. Luckily, I have an internal thread on my faucet, so I can just, I can just go ahead and screw in the kinetic reactor like so. So installing the kinetic reactor may be a little tricky if you don't have a wrench or something, but it's a fairly simple process. Okay. It's pretty good. So I'm just comparing the faucet filter that we had before and the kinetic reactor. So. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison, and it looks, from the external view, it looks pretty similar. It doesn't You can't really tell too much of a difference, but you can definitely taste the difference when you install the kinetic reactor, and it definitely tasted like the water that I get from either the fridge or other filtered water that I, I usually drink out of. So if you don't have an internal thread, that's totally fine. All you gotta do is just unscrew the nozzle that you had before and pop out what was there before. So all you got to do is just take the kinetic reactor out of its current casing and put the aerator in your current faucet casing. Put the wire mesh on top of it. And then screw it into your uh, faucet. So now you're ready to drink purified, bacteria-less water. I think this is a really good option for anyone that would use it in an apartment, in an office, wherever you think you could use it on your tap to get clean water. And it guarantees a one year long filtration. I think that's a pretty good deal. It was only like a 30 second job to install this in the tap. So it's basically plug and play. So go check out Kinetic Reactor. Those guys are amazing. They'll put up all these products, including the stainless steel water bottle and use the code down in the description to get a sweet discount and get yourself one or two of these. Try it out yourself and see how different your water tastes. Have a good one and stay safe.